everyone. So today we're actually going to be buying one of the new Frisians. I actually have one of the original new Frisians, like the pure black one, on my English account. I didn't do like a buying video for it. I just went ahead and bought it. I think it was on stream actually that I bought it and I kind of gave an informal opinion. But there is actually a horse today that I really, really did want to see. So I kind of decided just to make a video on it just to give you guys my opinion. Um, so I forgot again to check where the new Frisians are because I always forget to do that so I'm gonna go have a look at that I'm always so organized look at me go I am yes best youtuber no I didn't just spend 20 minutes trying to fix my chroma key only for it to almost break again do I not have the star stable friends app I do you're big Jorvik Stables. Okay, they're at Jorvik Stables. Okay, so they must be over- Okay, I almost just completely ran past them. So I believe they'll be in these, yeah, new stalls over here. So, those are nab strappers. We want- Aha! They're free jeans. So, ah, okay, so this was- This is the new- These are the new ones. So, of course, we have our classic- any of the OGs will know exactly what horse this is. Actually, to be fair, this this coat model has been in every single generation of Frisian, um, which is great. I think it's beautiful. It's not my thing, though, but I think they've really done the coat justice. I actually really like... I actually really like it. And something I did want to kind of comment on is they 100% tweaked the animations from the, like, trailer. I will do a side-by-side -side just to have a look at, see, like, how similar and what kind of bug fixes they did. But I'm 100% sure because when I saw the trailer, I was super disappointed. Like, I was really, really disappointed in the animations, not in the model. The model, I think, is gorgeous. I know that a lot of people are a bit irked that they've called them all Frisians because for a fact that Frisians can only come in uh, brown or black and the Frisian sports come in these different coats and they've basically labeled them as like the Jorvik Frisians. Um, I don't know why they've done that. It might be a technical thing of having too many breeds with the maybe same model or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, I am aware that that is a qualm people did have with this breed. But to be fair, I wanted this one. I'm a sucker for socks, um, and you can't see it properly because of the hair, but this horse does actually have like a little, little star, and my Black Beauty fans out there will fall for this horse, I'm 100% sure, like, this horse is gorgeous, um, so I think I'm gonna be buying this one. I'm, I'm going with Daycaster. Now, if you aren't aware, for some reason on this account, I love putting names together that could then sound like a full name, if that makes sense. Like for one horse's Farby, it's Far and B, but Farby sounds like a name. So I've gone with Daycaster. It kind of sounds like, I don't know, like a foreign name. I don't know which foreign, but it Daycaster. I, I, I'm not sure, but I'm going with it. Where is he? Oh, he's over here. Ooh, pretty boy. I love how tall they are. I am such a sucker for, like, tall horses. Uh, not necessarily the, like, chunky, chunky horses, but the tall horses. Yes, I'm one of those people that just dismounts and goes and gets the new horse. Um, he's beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, I really like this horse. So one thing that I didn't see last time was the new bridles. So I don't know if I'm going to be getting like these. These bridles are cool. Don't get me wrong. They're not my kind of thing because I do prefer the more realistic ones. But um, this is like a really cool design. And the reins are broken. Okay. Um, but it's a really cool design. I can't even, uh, can't even complain. This, this bridle though. Okay, if they could fix the glitch where when you're looking around in the quick shop, we disappear, that would be brilliant. Um, but yeah, no, I really actually like that bridle. I might get that one, actually. I'm on a spending frenzy today. Right, I believe that's an ebony medieval black and silver. Okay, right. So we'll go ahead and buy this one. I don't think they came with any saddles. No. Uh, there's also this, which is quite cute. I probably should have checked all of them before I bought something, but it's... It, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm more of a more of a silver fan anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slap um, the new bridle on him. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, he's so pretty. I might actually go into wild horse mode for this because he's just magnificent. 
So one thing that kind of threw me off about th- the Frisians was actually, unfortunately, the trailer. Um, in the photos from that Star Stable released, I loved them, I really did. But when I saw the trailer, uh, I think alongside quite a lot of people, people were very disappointed. Um, <laughs> they just did what I was gonna uh, complain about. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, so one... One thing about this horse is that a lot of people don't like, which is the hard stop. So if I, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it, it's, so it, <laughs> why? Um, so it like, it doesn't like almost standard star stable hard stop. Um, and then for some reason it does like a little, little rear. Uh, why? I'm not sure why they've chosen to do this. I'd like to see the video that they like base this off of because like i wouldn't think to put that in because if you're thinking about it the momentum is forward then you're stopping your momentum's still going to be moving forward to some degree so then if you add in a rear it's just going to unbalance the horse so they'd properly hard stop they might then like jump up and rear afterwards but if you actually look at the animation it's almost like it doesn't even fully hard stop first before it then does like the rear up um so again, that's probably one of the only only animations that I'm really not a fan of. It's the same as the Marwaris. For some reason, Star Stable are a bit iffy on their hard stops. I get it. Hard stops are really difficult. Um, the one that I think they nailed was the American Quarter, but that was more of a stylized one. And I know that they wanted to give every horse like kind of an individual hard stop so that they look a little bit more uh, varied. But personally, I just don't think this is the way to do it. Um, again, please don't ever take this as me wanting them to change it. I am, I'm done with wanting to change horses after release. I really am. Like, we had enough going on with the track and a lot of people were upset about that. And I really just don't want to, like, be changing horses after their release. Like, really. Unless there is a bug with them, just leave the animations alone. Um, that would be my only one thing, um about this horse that I really don't like. Uh, for some reason, these this bridle is broken, however. I've just noticed this. So there is like a permanent kink in the bridle. I'm not sure why. It might be because the reins are, if you look, are actually attached lower than they normally are. Normally the reins are, as you can see, would bridge up into here. So there's obviously some coding error there that's like made it still connect at the same point. Um, so that might have to be, have to be looked at again. See, the main problem with living in the UK is when you do get a little bit of sun and you set up your chroma key to be you know, with the same lighting, and then the sun goes away, and I'm stuck here not green screening properly. This has been an issue all day, and it's really bugging me. Anyway, so this horse, I think, is very photogenic, but it's not as videogenic as I wish it was. Um, you know, like, this this animation just does look very strange to me. And again, we need, I think, a better feedback system because one thing I know a lot of people did say with the um, uh, work in progresses that we saw was the main was too long um, and they didn't, they didn't change it. Uh, again, that might have been an executive decision, uh, but that is something to kind of note that we did kind of say hey, <laughs> we don't like the longer mane, or at least most of us, or some of us at least, don't like the longer mane. I'm one of them. I wish that the mane was a little bit shorter, that it didn't, it didn't need to come down to the knees. It could have, it could have, um, it could have stopped near the, near the stomach just to make things a little bit neater. See, this, this looks far better in my opinion. It's, you know, clean. I love the braided tail at the back. The braided tail is gorgeous. Um, and yeah, overall, I can just see more of the beautiful horse that we've got going. Uh, I think the main main, the main main, uh, the like standard main could have been a little bit shorter, but that's just me. Um, the rear is a little bit weird looking. I feel like it comes up to like, if you look, it like pulls its sh shoulders forward very far. Um, this little PF is quite cute though. It's a shame we don't have a button to activate that because this horse, if it had like, I don't know, two special moves, then I think the dressage people would have gone insane for it because if you can like just have two separate moves, again, the, the turn could be a little bit better. Horses don't tend to do the little step. They tend to do a cross. Uh, that's one thing horse riding tails actually did quite well was the turning animation. Horses like cross their legs when they're turning like fully um so that was something i think could have been 
could have been implemented. But again, like, I'm not going to sit here and rip this horse to shreds because at the end of the day, it is a beautiful horse. Um, I don't regret buying it. I think they're making some really good steps. I love seeing the work in progress for the horse. Um, I just really think the team needs to polish their... Um, their updates a little bit better than they currently are. Um, I get it, they have uh, schedules, they have plans, they have due dates, I get that. But I really do think that the game could really benefit from the, each breed really having the time to be polished and finished properly. Um, and then maybe some more coat variations. That could be really nice. So we have a really nicely finished model, really well done animations. And then to fill your quota, let's just say, you could add more coat variations to really like spice things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, overall, this horse is gorgeous, but it needs more... Uh, from Star Stable for the future breeds at least. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!